this uh, Hellboy lineup. And of course, Ditwood though does seem to be a direct uh, counter pick to that Ugi. Unfortunately, Ugi is somehow considered a uh, an Intel hero. Thanks, Han. But um, yeah, the uh, physical damage coming out from him should hurt quite a bit, nonetheless. I would say we're, we are going to see a swap out of the lanes actually. Clanks will be going on that long lane with uh, Bombardier on that short safe lane here. Um, yeah, you know, against that Ugi, I guess you could really just... It, honestly, you could just call this a suicide lane either way. Against Ugi, Gladiator, and that Rhapsody who is uh, about to... Probably going to block out that... Blocks out the hard cam, in fact. So, uh, one, of course, uh, to counter that Ophelia... Um, one hard cam less for her, gonna be quite a pain in the neck. But um, this will allow for Michael to stack up the um, pool camp as much as he wants earlier on, I suppose. But um, gonna be pretty hard for him to extend to try to retry any farm at all in a lane like this. Uh, but uh, perhaps we spoke a little bit too soon. Escape will be going towards that top lane to help our wild, so. Looks like it will be a laning wild soul? Or is it just a solo lane gladiator? Could go either way. These lanes are fairly fluid, you know, for either side. And uh, with both uh, melee cores on that middle lane, seems like. Um, they won't be needing any sort of uh, additional babysitting for them, so it will be just your plain old 1v1 on that middle lane. Ophelia moves towards that uh, Hellborn jungle to try to find a creep for herself. And indeed will do so, Catman Champion, one of the strongest creeps for her. Lots and lots of damage from that activation skill. And will be here to contest the jungle against that wild zone, so uh, that blue over there blocking out that hard cam not going to be effective at all in this scenario. At least not yet. Of course, Ophelia looking for an early pick off Pebbles. Quite low. We'll get, we'll get rooted up and slowed down. The stun from Pebbles. Slap. Nicely played there to sidestep that. Although the Catman Champion will get caught out. But the slow from him. One more right click. Ought to do it. And Pebbles will fall. So much damage coming out from him. Nice rotation from Slap, by the way. But, uh... Kind of strange that, um... You know, that Muffer Boy did not see did not see that movement coming in at all, considering that uh, Wild So already had a run in with that Ophelia in the jungle. But uh, Monarch here does move towards that middle lane in possibly in um, in response to a a prediction that Rhapsody would do the same. So uh, helping out both uh, the uh, supports, helping out their respective mid laners for the time being. Uh, nothing else to be found and bottom lane slap going even more aggressive here will catch out Aizazen Aizazen excuse me Aizazen Aizazen yes there we go but um going aggressively in slap will fall to that tower I believe it's a little bit awkward there but uh, of course um kill credit uh goes the way off slapped and uh he gets a lot more gold for it So eventually this is going to turn into somewhat of a duel, if not a tri lane here, for the side of Hellborn on bottom. Rhapsody TPs out onto top lane to help out Wild Soul, but it doesn't seem like he really needs any, assistant at, uh, any assistance at all at this point in time. Bombardier here. Pretty successful at harassing uh, against that wild, so nothing much wild so can really do at this point of time. But uh, especially with the uh, additional presence of Sakura on the Monarch on top lane. 
Meanwhile, middle will go back to the traditional 1v1. Nice toss back combo into the pitfall, but will reduce the distance of that toss. Muffin Boy perhaps a little bit too slow on the movement from the Pebble. Should have moved immediately or maybe slightly before he tossed out the stun to get uh, you know the full value of that distance to put him within tower range. Unfortunately, was not able to do so, and uh, 5, 6, 7, 8 will be perfectly fine with that for now. Meanwhile, Slap does find the Skeleton King here, will have his movement be spotted out by that Gladiator. So, uh, no real potential to grab Muffer Boy once again on that middle lane. For now, Wild so without that uh, additional presence of the Monarch here, is asserting his dominance on that mid on that top lane. Defense, however, already about a third of its health remaining here. Oh, little skirmish here on that bottom lane will result in the death of that gladiator. No follow-up kill to be found just yet. And uh, the fight will disengage from there. Kill credit went the way of Seiko. So he's going to be very, very happy with that right now. Sitting on... Uh, 250 GPM, not not the uh, most stellar of GPMs, but against a lane like this, there's uh, not all that much he could do either. Meanwhile, top lane, Wildzo does manage to push it down, uh, boost the GPM of his team just a little bit more as well, but uh, still, no one really reaches um, the, um, G the amount of GPM that Tidwood seems to be having on that middle lane. Such a comfortable place for 5, 6, 7, 8 here. In terms of uh, in terms of gold per minute, but uh, huh, did not see that coming at all. Clank's having a fair bit of free farm on his own. Would expect him to have um, as much as five, six, seven, eight, if not more. But uh, oh, a little bit awkward to uh, to creep creeps uh, to be missed by him. But Bubbles here on the back lines might get might get a catch on him. Gladiator stun will miss. Not enough range, I believe, to catch them out. So both Deadwood and Monarch will be able to escape there. Meanwhile, Clanx is trying to facilitate a little bit of a push of his own here. Tower is at about half health, maybe slightly less, but uh, of course doesn't have nearly the amount of push potential that uh, Wild Soul has to offer. Meanwhile, Deadwood does hit his stride in level 6 here. Would be nice to look for a kill, we'll get that uh, Haze Rune. Seems like uh, Boo Boo has scouted it out before, so Wild Soul is conscious of this, has to be very careful here, does spot out Deadwood himself running through the trees here. Might have got spotted out just yet. Rhapsody will be the one to get caught out with the Mobiter Bomb as well. Sticky Bomb on her head. Deadwood does not choose to commit the ultimate here. In fact, uses it on Wild Soul. Wild Soul dropping really low. One more right click ought to do it and the tree toss will secure that kill. But 5, 6, 7, 8 will fall as a result of that. Three man rotation to help out that Wild Soul gets a counter kill onto him. Meanwhile, bottom lane. Space created. Clanks does in fact manage to get that tower with the help of Ophelia. And it looks like they might be trying to go for a second here. No real response from that Hellborn team to try to defend this tier 2 tower up. And uh, it should take a fair bit of damage here from all these uh, creeps. Still got it. And Wild Soul starts to be able to do Wild Soul things at level 8. Has the levels that he needs to be an absolute monster. Hard camp, triple stacked, and farmed up like it was nothing. So there's a point of time where his GPM will start to spike up rapidly, I'd imagine. But somehow, 5678 still managing to keep up in pace completely. 
524 GPM. Kudos to him to be able to keep up uh, such a such a consistently high GPM on something like Deadwood here. He does take down the tower with the rest of his team. 1700 gold, 500 off his portal key after all. He catches Ugi off with the ulti, bursts him down. One or two more hits ought to do it, but Ugi with his own ultimate will heal him up to about half health. This should be fine for now. Gladiator trying to help out Ophelia now in the back lines. Getting caught out, perhaps flanked up by Pebbles and Rhapsody, but Pebbles forced to run. Bombardier here to help out as well, and the ultimate dropped onto his head will finish him off. Muffer Boy unfortunately caught out of position here, turned on by, by that Bombardier that he never expected to be around. And honestly, I quite like the um, build that Ugi goes for here, going for the uh, Tarquake over the Conflagrate build. Uh, Conflagrate? Yeah, Conflagrate build here. Um, in I mean, all in all, it does deal more damage overall, I believe. And, um, you know, considering, given that you don't have enough sustain, and right now, early on, he won't have that amount of sustain from his team to help him out and get, you know, pick outs and solo kills. So, um, yeah. Pretty good build for him here to try to contribute to team fights and such. Meanwhile, Clank starts trying to be a menace here, farming up not just um, the uh, jungle on his side, but also the ancient camp off the Hellborn side. Gets the big creep in the end, I believe. You know, uh, seems like I went the way off Bombardier and the uh, quick pick off from Deadwood here onto Ugi with the portal key. Surprise first usage will be very very effective here. That completely decimates him and takes a free kill off the top of his head. Get ready for Meanwhile, Wild Soul trying to match up with the farmer off that clanks. Nearly has his uh, rune cleaver here. Uh, sitting on an additional uh, 700 gold with um, the sustainer and that single broadsword should have it pretty soon I'd imagine but Clanks on the other hand will have his own um, his own thunderclaw in about 500 gold or so so uh, both carries just trying to ramp up their farm at this point in time but while so going for the straight push with his bulkiness can definitely afford to do so rest of his team here to help out as well Ugi the last man to move in but will be in the vicinity pretty soon here Monarch's going around the edge, has to be careful of any heroes trying to go into that tree line. But for now, should be fine. Tower to fall. Uproot the tree toss onto Pebbles here with the uh, with the with the rotten grass as well. And the Bombardier Ultimate will finish him off. Clanks in the sidelines here. Trying to trying to move around and weave around the team fight and trying to get right clicks off, but it's a little bit too dangerous for him. Bombardier, Lord, Lord Mikhail to be caught off. The route nicely done onto two, both Rhapsody and Gladiator, but will not prevent, prevent the deaths of both Clanks and Monarch. Gladiator, one more right click ought to do it. Bombardier bomb drops right onto the head of Rhapsody. Gladiator still caught by the sidelines here. One more right click from there, but will do it. What are you doing, Gladiator? Barely caught off there. And Ugi soon to fall as well, but Deadwood has to double back against the power of those wild soul right clicks um fortunately for him no real way that wild soul could catch up from now but uh ophelia is left trying to go aggressively onto that wild soul but he's so tanky despite the lack of items The uh, haste rune will be available for whoever wants it on that top lane. Do they know that there's an Ugi there? No, there's uh, Pebbles just went for the pull there um, onto that creep wave, and uh, Ugi should reveal himself pretty soon here. Ophelia will catch out the gladiator with that dust. No range for the skeleton kings who are right behind him at this point in time. So, no opportunity for a catch yet. But Ugi might be caught out here behind the tower 
tower's tower itself is really really low if he walks right just a little bit more and uh and indeed he will he will get spotted out by that uh ward of sight moving deeper into that jungle has to be careful but uh fortunately for him at the same time all those legion heroes have already moved on to claim that tower Meanwhile, Deadwood goes for another kill on the Pebbles. Muffer for dropping low will fall in the end. Damage was just enough. Gladiator Aldi catches Deadwood off in the midst of that TP and he will not be able to escape. One for one trade. But of course, 5678 will be the one to pay here. Ultimate Warrior Streak, 485 gold as opposed to that mere 269 from that kill onto Pebbles. So perhaps a little bit too aggressive here. Nice. It's nice that he makes full use of his ultimate. Uh, to get those pickups whenever it's off cooldown, but uh, you know, it's, he does doesn't regard the uh, counter counterplay nearly enough. At this point of time, Hellborn side so aggressive on that bottom lane. Tier two tower will fall. Four of them here against uh, the three man rotation off that Legion side. Somehow, um, they aren't confident enough to go for a fight. Lack of information at that point of time. They don't know where Ophelia is, where, um, and they was about to respawn as well. So they take the safe play, they take the tower, and they just back right off. Meanwhile, there was gonna be smoked out. Wants to look for another kill. Yet again, Gladiator Illusion will be on the sidelines there as well. But uh, luckily enough, does not get uh, spotted out by that. Once again, the solo Deadwood is looking for some sort of pickoff, and he will be able to find Ugi here, and a very quick pickoff will uh, decimate him right there and then. Has leveled up his clear cutting. Should be able to get away from all these heroes. Boo Boo might attempt to try to body block him up, but. Uh, now uh, he's way too far out to be caught off by something like that. But, uh, yeah, at this point of time, Wild So. Um, as long as he kind of sits in this jungle with some of his teammates guarding him, should be fine to just try and take up the... Um, Take up the farm in the jungle as much as possible, and at this point of time, does have his uh, firebrand out. And uh, on top of that, yeah, is pretty happy to just farm up and stack up at this point of time. Oop, seems like that's gonna be a little bit of a skirmish here. But, uh, Monarch two fall, the ulti from Bombardier, beautiful catches on the three, decimates all three of them. Pebbles the last to fall. Ugi on the run right now, does have that uh, void talisman on himself. So much damage he's actually avoiding with the help of that, but uh, will it be enough? One more right click ought to do, and the Bombardier Sticky Bomb will secure that kill. They would now going aggressively onto that wild, so Oak Ball will catch him out, slows him out just a little bit more. Flashbang will not connect. The wild, so should be able to escape at this point in time. Aggressive TP in, but uh, will be cancelled to prevent that route. A while so um, once again still so tanky just naturally but uh, does continue to try to go for that push but Legion heroes are in the vicinity of that uh, bottom lane at least just Ophelia and Clanks doesn't seem like it's enough potential to try and take down both uh, Wild Soul and Rhapsody so they will back off for now And they would will join them once again smoked up. This time has an additional DD DD rune in his bottle here. Pebbles, if only they knew that he was solo farming up that uh, ancient ancient camp right there. But uh, fortunately for him, he will not get spotted out just yet. What of sight here? We'll see that skeleton king moving up. Hellborn response 
moves deeper into the jungle. They are still kind of you know grouped up together, so they sh so they should feel rather safe and fine for now. The meanwhile, Legion side are looking to move into the jungle. It seems a little bit, a little bit more aggression coming out from them at this point of time. And uh, well, Rhapsody is smoked out right here. We'll get it popped, but uh, not to not to the notice of any of these uh, Legion heroes. Everyone's just kind of skirting around each other. Dill is still going super aggressive. It does have a haste rune. Pitfall will not connect on anyone. Just a scouting pitfall here. In prediction of Dillwood's uh, movements. And uh, the rest of the Hellborn side will back off. They respect the presence of this Legion team and do not uh, sacrifice any members in any uh, unnecessary, unnecessary fights, I suppose. And uh, yeah, it seems like it should be a free Congo take here for the side of uh, Legion. Clanks does have the double damage rune, and the rest of um, rest of Hellborn don't seem to be none the wiser. Congo at about nearly half health should fall pretty soon here. Yeah, but they have given. Hellborn quite a bit of time to try and react to the situation. Boxer sends out Boo Boo and will spot it out here. Kongor, a fair bit of health left but will not fall just yet. Boogie, first one to run in, does have the Helm of the Black Legion, fairly tanky. We'll get comboed, uh, Clanks will get comboed up, deal with falling solo as well. Chrysalis onto him, we're gonna survive for now. Bombardier ultimate pretty much whips on all of those heroes, barely just uh, skims the side of them and Monarch should be one to fall right now as well. So Bombardier and Ophelia, the remaining members of the team, trying to run away but Bombardier will get caught out by that pitfall. Gladiator drops that uh, drops that showdown onto him as well so he will not be able to get away. But uh, they leave him alone for now. They are content with what they have and they want to go for that Kong and they take it. Well so the, the only man inside the Kong pit more than enough to take him down and claim the token for himself. And this should spell somewhat of a somewhat of a push for, um, for mix. But it's kind of strange how they're marching down that bottom lane. It's it's far too early to try to go for that uh, that tier three tower right now. So they're much better off just going down middle lane. But uh, uh, probably recognizing that most of the heroes are gonna respawn and defend that middle lane. They choose to just go for the waves on that bottom and perhaps secure a little bit off that jungle for themselves as well. Well, so the ever so greedy farmer will be the one to take charge of this and uh, sends Boo Boo in to scout out as well. Playing the very safe game here. You know, Pebbles does have a uh, Void Talisman of his own. So one, two, two Void Talismans, one on Pebbles and one on Oogie here to um, counteract the uh, Deadwood. Of course, they are prime targets for that Deadwood, so a uh, nice item pickup for them. And uh, Ugi, just uh, as we've seen in the last team fights, was fairly effective in using it as well. wasn't uh, wasn't uh, the, the Legion side wasn't able to burst him down while he was in the midst of them all, just spamming his spells around. Of course, it wasn't nearly enough damage, but uh, given given a little bit of extra time and with uh, more teammates to work around, things might change for him. And yeah, indeed, they do move down onto that middle lane and push it down. Defense tower falling so, so quickly, while so doing wild so things. And uh, Legion side, they are spread quite thin here. Clank going to that top lane to try to push it down just a little bit more. Um, does have a TP, but uh, of course not in time to defend that tier 2. They just give it up. And uh, yeah, of course, tower, tower kill favoring the side of Hellborn. Meanwhile, Ugi does have the Gnome's Wisdom for his team. A whole bunch of spellcasters here that uh, that Wild Soul included, so gonna be very, very um, useful an item here. 
Um, uh, seems like, um... Yeah, and the uh, Sacrificial Stone as well for that Gladiator, so... A lot of aggressive push game coming out for this Hellborn side. And, uh... Bunch of good item pickups here that, uh, we typically don't see in a Thai team. You know, a bunch of aura items that, uh, do help out with the general team fight cause. Very nice to be seen here from a uh, Thai team, <laughs> such as Mix. And uh, of course, all outer towers will be pushed down by the Hellborn side right now. And uh, with only those inner towers remaining, they they do not get to get the uh, denial on that uh, tier two. Kind of awkward there, but uh, yeah, no outer towers remaining for either side. So any team fight at this point of time could mean the fall of a uh, tier three tower, if not, you know, uh, a bunch of buybacks coming out from the uh, losing side. And the also has picked up his uh, shrunken hit right now, so going to be quite the presence in these team fights, quite the unstoppable one at that um, save Deadwood. Deadwood has to be has to be wary of this, you know, at this point of time. Wildso would have his uh, BKB at any point of time now, so um, he would have to be careful with how aggressively he wants to go onto someone like Ugi or someone like Pebbles. Because, you know, if he doesn't focus on Wild so he's just going to go ham on the rest of his team. And on top of that, Wild so does have his entire wing bow completed as well. So, a huge amount of damage coming out from Wild so at this point in time. On the other side of the pond, we have Clanks here. Who seems to only have a firebrand on top of his uh on top of his uh, thunderclaw and shrunken hit, so not that much damage um in the way of uh, items, but of course you know that can be supplemented with simply uh, his ultimate because clanks is clanks. All things considered, though, Wild so should be should be a step ahead of clanks in terms of a uh, teamfight DPS DPS output. Meanwhile, middle lane, Rhapsody will get caught out by Deadwood. Instant ulti onto him and a commitment from that Bombardier with that air strike as well. Perhaps a little bit unnecessary, but they really, really wanted to secure that kill. And uh, honestly, it wasn't even that much of a waste because, you know, they're, they're not looking to take any like major team fights right now. So both ultimates committed onto the single pickoffs that they wanted to try to facilitate some sort of push at all was uh, much needed for them. And uh, Alacrity then to be purchased up by Muffer Boy. Seems like he wants to, uh, in traditional Thai fashion, wants to go greedy and go for that shrunk, uh, that uh, Alchemist bonus, excuse me. Slapped. Does uh, have his Astrolabe with a Glowstone on top. Is working towards that, uh, that Staff of the Master pretty soon, I believe, for the, um, the boosted heal. The, uh, uh, reduced cooldown technically, but yeah. Does have the, uh, typical, uh, triple Skeleton King set up here. So lots and lots of, uh, single target disable coming out from him. Mini stuns, of course, great to cancel out TPs as well. But, uh, unfortunately, no real, no real window to use them against, uh, enemies in the team fight just yet. Meanwhile, Gladiator here goes for the uh, safe D ward. Tries to spot out any wards with that bound eye off uh, picked up onto him, but uh, not going to be able to do so. And it uh, does counter the air assassin shot. I'm not sure if he saw, you know, uh, Seiko go for that assassin shot before he went for that eye, but uh, possibly. I mean, looking at Seiko's gold right now. So, a very early eye to counter that shot should spell the doom of Seiko should he get caught out in these team fights. Meanwhile, they're looking to push up on that top lane and uh, an immediate TP back as well so no real commitment to any sort of aggressive push from that legion side and it's just going to be more of a passive game with both teams just skirting around each other and just 
Taking it safe and slow, I bet, at this point in time. But Deadwood goes in aggressively onto Rhapsody. Tons never want to be safe and slow. Proves me wrong completely, and, uh... Yeah, I mean... Once again, an easy pickoff for him. Um, just... In this passive game, he's just been... Trying his best to grab at whatever advantage he can get, and... Although these are, you know, small pickups, uh, pickoffs on something like the Rhapsody, it's still... Still, it still helps towards this item progression, so pretty decent. At this point of time, um, once again, they're probably gonna try to go for somewhat of a push, but uh, there's there's no there's no way they're gonna commit to this fully, even even you know without a rhapsody on the enemy team. Oh, Oogie already has that uh, Jade Spire on him. I wonder why it blinks like that. It's kind of weird. But um, yeah, Ugi already has his Jade Spire, so lots and lots of presence in these team fights as well. Clanks, yeah, come to think of it, the Assassin Shot was a pretty good pickup for him. Is pretty much necessary for him to weave around these team uh, in these team fights against a monster like Ugi, that can at this point of time sustain himself pretty well. Oh, Ophelia does go for the early storm spirit. So, seems like that was just a casual glowstone to just boost that just a little bit. It's uh, kind of weird in terms of item progression, unless I saw that wrongly. But um, at this point of time, Pebbles nearly has his uh, alchemist bone, so might try to slow the game down just a little bit more but i'd imagine that this wild soul does want to fight pretty badly i mean look at his items here on top of that wing bow that he's got he's uh, picked up an additional assassin shot as well so lots and lots of you know lots and lots of damage and power coming out from him so ideally hellborn i mean they are looking pretty good uh, in pretty good shape for a team fight and uh, a crucial kill onto Clanks or maybe, you know, like whoever else, Deadwood, should mean that uh, the defense of this uh, Legion site should crumble enough for uh, to force a buyback or to lose a tower. Because at this point in time, I mean, Bombardier hasn't been doing that much. Um, he's he's far better than in the previous game. Has his portal key, like, right after the stuff of the Master. Didn't take him too long to get it. But, um... Yeah, at this point of time, he's still not doing that much work for his team, unfortunately. Honestly, if um, if Phoenix Mix were to learn from their past game, their past victory at all, they they, you know, it's learn anything at all from that past victory. It's that uh, they would have to apply a lot more pressure onto their opponents in this um in this time where the game just lulls just a little bit more. Otherwise, that Clanks is going to become quite the uh quite the powerhouse for that team. Once again, while so going for that casual push will want, will garner him just a fair bit of gold for himself, but but I mean, it's not really accomplishing anything too much right about now. Perhaps he's moving towards that uh, that uh, geometer is being to be a little bit greedier in the team fights. Does purge 
does have the potential to escape, uh, to allow him to escape from the rotten grass after all. After all. But uh, nothing, nothing too, too much in the way of protection really. At this point in time, we'll go for that Kongo take. Has to sacrifice one of his items should he wanna, should he wanna pick up the token for himself. But uh, Pebbles within the pit himself could go for it. And yeah, we'll drop his firebrand in the end. So, they are looking in very good shape right now to take a team fight. And um, huh, doesn't seem like they're still com doesn't see still doesn't seem like they're confident enough to take any sort of um attempt at that tier three. At this point in time, it's still a tender time for the Clanks. He does have a bit of damage on himself, of course, with that ultimate as well, but it's not going to be nearly enough to, you know, just murder everyone. And uh, he's still far too squishy to fight, really, so... Yeah, but... Oh, perhaps I've spoken a bit too soon. does have his Genjuro right now, so... Lots and lots of more damage from that item. Well, so might be trying to find a solo pick off here. Does spot out the Deadwood and the Monarch as well with the Eye. Four hit and the Monarch will fall. Bound Eye will not get the Knight just yet. Seems like they want it for themselves. Deadwood falling pretty low. Two more right clicks ought to do it. Extra damage. Try uh, extra damage from the Genjuro. Well, so tried to churn that out, but it will not be enough or in time for that matter of fact. And they go straight for the tier three, and this is what I'm talking about. The amount of um, the amount of time that they give the clangs has to be extremely limited if they don't want him to try to become an active force in these fights. And the melee rex will fall fairly easily here. And Uki just standing in the front lines here, tanking everything up, using his ultimate and just expanding his mana to heal himself up, while the rest of his team gets the space they need to push down the base. Well, so rushing in from that bottom lane, Ugi to fall pretty soon. Clangs will be able to dodge the fury of that wild soul with that shroud but it will result in the death of Ophelia meanwhile on the back lines Bombardier gets a kill off onto that uh, Ugi and the gladiator I believe and the meanwhile wild soul still dueling inside the base uh, destroys that uh, that monarch here with little to no effort but meanwhile we'll get caught out by both Bombardier Bombardier did with end Clanks but still trying to hold his own Clanks gonna get tossed out by the pebbles few more right clicks ought to do it but it won't be enough both heroes will fall, Wild Soul respawns, but is forced to turn around here, rooted up by Deadwood as well. Does not have nearly enough damage to take him down though. Caught out in no man's land with four people surrounding him, has no chance of escape at this point in time, and he will fall. Perhaps a little bit of an overextension here by that Wild Soul, but he did get quite a few heroes, and the rest of his team was, um, was uh, fighting around in that jungle area with that Bombardier. In fact, Lord Michael here doing a lot better than that previous game. Does already have a hex up on himself as well. But yeah, of course, uh, all in all, it will definitely favor um, the side of uh, Mix. Mega Creeps will be storming down that middle lane from now on. And uh, which leaves them open to just uh, focus on the top and bottom lanes. Clanks is reaching some sort of uh, potential limit for, you know, in terms of um, in terms of how well he can fight in team fights. But all things considered, you know, even if they take a big fight on top or bottom, they're still gonna have to worry about that middle lane. So, um, yeah, I mean, if I were mixed right now. I'd be heaving a sigh of relief. Pebbles here farming up, at least trying I guess, with that uh, alchemist bones. No real, no real uh, other items to be found on his person just yet. Right now sitting at a mere 274 GPM, the team fights have been far too intense for him to make full use of um, his alchemist bones to farm up, unfortunately. 
so it will suffer just a bit but uh, yeah all in all I think that uh, yeah, I don't think um, the alchemist wounds was a good pickup for him at this point of time his team clearly wanted to go for a much more aggressive line for this game and uh, the alchemist wounds were just far too slow for him to go for to um, you know to utilize in these team fights Meanwhile, Deadwood has picked up for himself a Hellflower. Um, definitely a, a great counter to that Ugi who doesn't have a BKB for himself just yet. So, is extremely vulnerable to an item like that. So, yeah, looking to shut him down in these team fights, but we still have the problem that is that Wild So, Of course, the uh, Storm Spirit has been fairly effective against him. But um, just just a single one isn't going to be nearly enough. Early reactions by Lord Michael would be able to solve this problem as well with that hex, but uh, we shall see how how that will turn out in the actual team fight. They would scouting around near that rune area to try and find any wards, but will not be able to do so. Well, so invis up, but uh, out of the range, well out of the range, in fact, of that eyes vision. Clank's invis up as well. Deadwood jumps in right on that gladiator, but the uh, Rhapsody ulti will delay his death just a little bit more. And he will get built out just a little bit. Had the uh, pitfall on himself. Meanwhile, gladiator ulti jumps right in, catches no one actually. Clank's hexed up on the high ground, gets tossed back down by Pebbles. The uh, Bombardier ultimate will not really catch anyone really. And um, Wild So tries to go on a rampage, barely any health to his name, but should be able to lifesteal it up easily. Uh, Ugi going ham on that Bombardier, full health pretty much, still high on mana, tossed back by the Pebbles, Ophelia will fall, and Bombardier soon to fall right after. Wild so one more right click ought to do, and Pebbles will fall as well, Clanks now taking the high ground vision advantage, I mean the flying vision, whatever, to <laughs> take them down. So much damage coming out from him, Thank, uh, and just with his enemies placed, bunched up and placed in a perfect position for him to just go ham. And um, this might force out a bunch of buybacks here. Do they have enough? Yes. Every every member of that uh, every dead member of that Hellborn team does have enough for a buyback. So they will force it out. But uh, Rhapsody will get bursted down almost immediately. Did with BKB up and on the run here. Clanks forced the back out as well. They are pretty happy with that actually. They take a kill on that Rhapsody pretty much unpunished. Of course, they don't get to take a tower at all, but they deal a fair bit of damage to it, and um, yeah, lose nothing in the way of uh, heroes for it at all. So they're gonna be pretty happy with that. And Clanks does finish up his geometer's bane right now. It is fully slotted. Um, well, at least for now. Uh, would definitely choose to swap off his items later on but uh, looking to be in a very healthy team fight condition at the present moment
clanks double damage rune on himself shout it up goes right onto that pebbles hasn't even popped his bkb it just pops it right out you can barely see it with that skin really but wild so now trying to contest that with his own damage it might not be enough but clanks falling so low right now but will get healed up by ophelia once again and he dishes out so much damage and unholy amount bursts down the entire hellborn team and just wipes them completely nothing they could do against him at that point in time and early on i thought that you know no one really focused him down to control him the moment he showed himself because uh, it didn't seem like he popped his bkb but it actually did can barely see it with that avatar but once again two more buybacks are forced out by um Ugi and pebbles tosses pebbles pks in tosses clanks up but immediately he will get saved up by that uh, storm spirit and an easy turn for the clanks will will be the result of this but once but no wild soul comes in with the massive right clicks takes him right down and pebbles and uh they would excuse me soon to fall after the eye gets picked up by escape on the gladiator and uh bombardier is forced right out of there <laughs> wild soul all that damage that we see during this team fight, it was seemed to be nearly non-existent back then. He just didn't focus down that gladiator, uh, that clanks, excuse me, in time during those team fights. So, uh, but I mean, at this point of time, once, like, when when he actually goes toe to toe against clanks, you can really see the effect of, you know, the, well, just wild so as a hero in general with his items. I think he's proven himself uh, to be able to deal with a situation like Clanks. So, um... Hellborn looking to march down on that bottom lane right now. Clanks and Dilwood both about to respawn in about 10 seconds here. So, um... Doesn't seem like they'll really be able to go for that uh, lane of Rex right now. Ugi. Not sure if he's had this uh, the previous fight, but it uh, seems like he has his uh, Hex online right now. So, once again, huge factor in these fights. Probably won't be using it on that Clanks uh, because of his BKB, but uh, will be pretty useful against something like the, the uh, Bombardier, I believe. Yeah. Hellborn team still sitting around in that jungle looking to be very aggressive and try to take a fight and... Uh, of course, a Rex right after, but uh, Legion side playing it very cautiously, not gonna give them the opportunity to take them down right now. <laughs> Look at that damage, one right click and the entire creep wave is gone. Absolutely ridiculous. And once again, as of yet, uh, no items really to be found on Boo Boo, but uh, we've not reached uh, a late enough stage of the game whereby, you know, it's super crucial for that Boo Boo to have to be six slotted as well, or I mean, slotted at all. So um, at this point of time, Wild So is still holding his own with just uh, his own person to fight. So yeah, that's fine for now. But. Um, Pebbles, really, I mean, it's been it's been 45 minutes, and um, he's not really had any items to his name. Poor guy just can't seem to farm, find any uh, space to farm, rather, at all here. But he has been pretty useful in these teamfights though, tossing clanks up, disabling him up, moving, just causing general chaos around. Yeah, I suppose that's all he really needs to do here, so Muffer Boy, perhaps a little, a little, bit, uh, a little bit too greedy once again, in trying to go for those alchemist bones.
it was said, but were those bananas always there? Seems like they just uh, left left it behind and just completely forgot about it until now. But uh, it will go the way of Ugi, arguably the best hero to have the bananas on. That is going to be an absolute monster in these team fights right now. As if he wasn't hard enough to kill before. Has a bar armor on top of everything as well, so. Yeah, they're gonna wanna avoid him completely. Honestly, in this team fight, it's all on 5678 to be the shining star, the hero to, to silence up that uh, that Oogie, as well as uh, ulti that wild so to disable him completely. That's that's how I see them winning the team fight. Otherwise, it'll be kind of hard, really. Also, has a double damage win on him as well. Four hundred and seventy-five damage on from his right clicks, not counting the additional damage from his stomp and whatever else. So, looking to be a huge, huge monster in these in this upcoming team fight. At this point of time, it doesn't even seem like Clanks can kind of um, kite him out well enough. Like, despite despite his positioning, it's it's just not going to work out. It's such a cramped area here, especially at the bottom of the map. Wild Soul is just going to be able to run right up to him and just right-click him with those ranged right-clicks. And he's just going to fall. Fall like flies. <laughs> And at this point of time, we haven't even looked at the tower really. Since 74 health, like one or two more right clicks are, uh, is gonna just take it down right away. So, Legion side, they're not even gonna have the presence of a tier 3 tower to help them out. Wild so is gonna get uh, hit by that crippling pollen, but uh, will go to town immediately. He pops his BKB, tries to go in straight onto that monarch in the back lines. Two will fall. Ugi gets bursted down immediately here. Clanks, only the illusion gets caught by that. And Wildsoul will get destroyed by the right clicks from those from Clanks and his illusions. Completely controlled up, no space to move whatsoever. And that was not an outcome that we expected at all. Three kills favoring uh three for nothing, favoring the side of Legion here. And Ugi didn't even have the time to use his bananas before he died, so. Oh, that was that was awkward for um, for Mix. They were caught right out on the back lines by Bombardier and um, they couldn't do anything really to react to that. So nicely played by Lord Michael. The Clanks here, Seiko, immediately going onto that defense tower, tier 3 on the top lane. Should spell a lane of Rex for them at this point of time. No buybacks from... Um, from both uh, Wild Soul and Ugi. The situation looks extremely dire right now for Mix. As a uh, should as a um, you know Legion side transition easily into that middle lane. Two lanes of Rex for them right now. And uh, still another 12 seconds before Wild Soul respawns, so yeah, plenty of time for the entire Legion team to just double back. And although Wild Soul and uh, Clanks look to be toe and toe, toe to toe in terms of GPM, almost exactly the same GPM release, 705 and 704. I mean, Poxer on that Wild Soul just can't do anything about any, anything about being controlled up in these team fights. He he just you know he's forced to use the shrunken hit early. They just extend out the duration with something like the Chrysalis with the Storm Spirit, and I mean he just gets. He just gets absolutely just CC'd up later on after that uh, BKB effect expires, so 
And meanwhile, we have this clanks going around everywhere, just going to town on everybody here, and there's not nearly enough control to prevent him from uh, doing so because Bombardier is in the back lines doing so much work himself. Resto Stone here, with um, Resto Stone allowing him to double hex and of course double the palm strike. I mean, damn. Actually, Neo Lucian did a very good job in splitting the forces of uh, Mix Thin in that last team fight. Meanwhile, seems like uh, Boxer does have a demonic breastplate right now, so should be uh, very, very useful in these team fights where Clanks is dishing out such an insane amount of damage, and of course, you know it's great against Stillwood as well. But at this point of time, is it still enough? You have this Clanks that's still dishing out so much damage, both physical and magical. To all he really needs to sustain, which he has right now, is it enough at this point of time? And the uh, 5678 once again goes for a pickoff on that Rhapsody. Nut fee. Just can't get can't get a break this game at all. Poor guy's been hunted down by 5678 at least three, four times now. Wild, so this uh, could be what we're talking about. The point of time where you have to start uh, trying to 8 slot yourself here. So, um, where is that bear? Well, until we find the spirit bear, we'll never know. But uh, I don't believe he's had the GPM to try to uh, fit his bear out with a bunch of items at this point in time. So, so he's in for still. Still a pretty rough fight here. Neither party really has a strong, uh, Savage Mace to um, fight against the other, but uh, of course, just in terms of raw damage output and uh, you know from the creeps uh, from his ultimate, Clanks is gonna dominate that uh, that wild so. There we go, the uh, Wild Soul Bear. Of course, it has absolutely nothing on it at all. Perhaps it could use a boot or something, but I mean, at this point of time, uh, it's not really gonna change much. Pebbles has a Tablet of Command after farming with that uh, that Alchemist Bones for pretty much 50 minutes. Oh, of course, it's not 50 minutes, you know, for a good, like, maybe 30 minute duration. It's just really not working out for him, he just can't catch a break to farm. Poor guy. But meanwhile, Clanks will, will uh, move towards that Kong pit and uh, will start taking it up. Token should go the way of Deadwood this time, since uh, Clanks is pretty much slotted out right now. In fact, it will go the way of Bombardier, Lord Michael here, doing lots and lots of work. And uh, of course, jumping in the back lines, it will serve him pretty well there. And look at the the uh, Hellborn team so playing so defensively here. They kind of want to move out. They do have Oogie smoked up, but they still have to kind of group up as a form form hand team there inside their base before they you know to tr to try to wait for any sort of like advancement from that Legion side. They're so terribly afraid of Legion trying to come and hunt them down that they've got no choice but to wait inside their base.
while also here, simply an illusion, but uh, still so so scary to them. And the uh, clanks can barely take it down with um, thanks to that uh, wing bolt on him. In fact, did would once again probably try to go for uh, Rhapsody or Pebbles, either one of them, and uh, was caught out by that entire uh, Hellborn team, which happened to sit around. That, that cautiousness, you know, in preparation for something like a team fight against Clangs, kind of just helped out against five, six, seven, eight. He can't go for any any of these uh any of these solo pickups anymore without always having to constantly worry about the rest of the team being behind any um, any other person. So that place is just not gonna work out for you anymore. Five, six, seven, eight. All five members of the uh, Hellborn side move towards that bottom lane. Looks like they want to try to end the game out right about now here. No tier 3 tower, once again. Wildsoul goes in straight for the melee rex. Is sent back by that uh, gladiator. Ugi falling so so low. Bombardier goes straight for him. The ultimate will not connect. Has the refresh already. Ugi heals right out with the bananas. Has the window of timing to do so this time. And uh, Rhapsody standing in the middle of everything, thinking out so low, just slowly but surely. Wild so falling pretty low here, getting ulted out by Dead will, will, might get caught out here, but might but seems like he has the time to shot away and perhaps turn one more right click onto Dead will ought to do it. But the bananas on him will save him as well. Ugi to fall in the end, caught out between four Legion heroes. And Wild So is forced to TP out as well. Gladiator is soon to follow, and both of them will return to their base. Well, was a uh Three for three for nothing trade, I believe. And five, six, seven, eight did fall in that team fight, so uh, it was probably a buyback from him. So perhaps a three for one. And look at Waldo right now, eight thousand gold on his person here. And, uh no buybacks on him either, so where's the bear, man? Come on, Wild So Give us that eight slotted eight slotted hero we've always wanted to see. I don't suppose he's bought any items for Boo Boo yet either, so go straight for the push. Legion aren't forced to immediately DP back. At least uh you know both Bombardier and Deadwood are. Clanks wants to continue that push and Wildso in return is forced to back off as well but Clanks will get caught out here with the double storm spirit. Wildso goes right onto him, tossed up by Pebbles and disabled up. Has not, uh, has used that symbol of rage but uh, it will be enough and he gets sent home by Ophelia. Nothing really to disable him out at that point of time there. Honestly, Gladiator uh, kind of needs to be there to use the, um, what's it called, the showdown to bring him back should um, they try for that uh, cheeky combo there. Because uh, he's going to have to use up his BKB first, right? So, Gladiator should be able to do it fairly easily. Once again, Wildso is hoarding so much gold. 9.6k gold onto him. And uh, no buybacks to be had. And still. Is he not slotting the bear? Monarch, few right clicks should take her down. And they would soon to follow here. Should not be able to get away. And indeed, he will fall to uh, Boxer as well. Booba arrives just in time to show us that he has no items whatsoever. And, uh. Yeah, it's. He really should use may use of that bear. Come on, but at this point of time, I mean, they've taken two, but like the you know most of the key players off the uh, side of Neolution are still alive. 
buybacks are available one for deadwood um and uh of course no buyback for the likes of sakura on that uh, monarch Well, so we'll use the uh, we'll abuse rather the power of showdown to try and take out that melee rex, but unfortunately, does not have nearly enough to do so. Once again, same cheeky strat. Wild so goes in for it, and the rex will fall this time. Hex up by bombardier, but will be able to get away thanks to gladiator. At this point in time, we're probably going to see a slow march from the side of Hellborn and just take a Rex at a time with those uh, cheese strats and try to just, you know, overrun the base slowly but surely. And at last, it seems like Boxer is outfitting Boo Boo with um, well, at least some boots. Uh, Rune Cleaver, so he can uh, possibly get like something like a Savage Maze on himself. No, go straight for the go straight for the uh, symbol of rage here. Does kind of need to sustain in those fights, but once again, he can't contest uh, Seiko with just you know a, a little bit of extra sustain. This damage just isn't there for him without something like a Savage Mace. The question remains, why is he saving 4.8k gold without any buyback onto him? But, um, it'd be so much more efficient if we could use something on the bear. Let's see how uh, fast Boo Boo can take down creep waves here. Still not very quickly, unfortunately. So, uh, also is forced to back off into the base to defend against the push here from Legion's side. Legion taking it very warily as well. Devil will PK backwards. Does not go in for any aggressive pick. The entire team just kind of backs off right about now. It was just uh, apparently it was just a faint. Seiko and the rest of the team back at it again, right at the base. They want those mega creeps and they want them bad. Clank's first to be caught out. Pebbles goes for the aggressive PK in, but will not get to do anything before he gets immediately hexed up. Clank's will get disabled up by the Gladiator Ultimate. They were caught on the sidelines here. Clank's immediately destroys Nut Free here. And the more to come, going to town on the rest of them. Pebbles to fall to that ungodly DPS. Wild Soul. Trying to hold his own. So much life steal coming up from that, uh, up from that, uh, that symbol of rage. And it might just be enough. He takes down, he takes down, um, Wildso, and he takes down Seiko, I believe, as well. But it, but at this point in time, with the rest of his team down, he's forced to pack off. Nothing much he can do it, uh, here all alone. And with no buybacks on this team whatsoever, we have a lone wild so so vulnerable to being uh, controlled up by by a hex or two, and um, just forced to try his best to defend against this four man push right now. And they want to end the game; they want to end it badly. Gladiator, luckily, has respawned to help out, but the pitfall will not connect. Wild so getting controlled up once again. So much control used right immediately. Ultimate from Gladiator will not connect, unfortunately. Wild so pops the BKB but can't do much at this point of time. Will toss Clanks back and Pitfall will connect this time, but the right clicks, none of them will come through. The Wing Boy is doing so much work. Wild so is getting bursted down and he will fall, and that's gonna be GG for this game. Neo Lucian take the second game in this uh, best of five series. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. He's a crack, dude. Sweet comeback. Justice.
Four white hats in a row. Fucking the name. has entered the stage. What an ass clown. And once again, I feel like we've seen a repeat of the second game here. In both cases, you have some sort of, you know, carry that just comes in from the back lines from, from a position where they, they're just kind of forced to sit back and farm and just, you know, go crazy and just absolutely overtake the other carry.